I'm doing this video on the fat moto again. This time I got a 11 tooth clutch on it. I'm upgrading to a 12 tooth clutch because 11 tooth I totally blew out. Um, I had a whole whole intro segment already recorded for this but it got deleted somehow. Yeah, who knows. But anyhow I'm putting on a 12 tooth centrifugal clutch. What I want to do is see how many miles per hour more I could get from the 11th 11 tooth and go into a 12 tooth. Now it already has a 30 tooth sprocket on the back because I had a 26 with the original 11 tooth and it took forever to get up speed even with pedaling. But I got a 30 tooth. I got the governor bypassed and I have a thumb throttle on it. That's the only modifications I've done to it so far. I plan on doing exhaust and carb and intake. I'm going to weld something up to make it fit. I'm going to see what we could do piece by piece. See how fast I can get it. I already have 212 Predator 212 1.3 to 1 rocker arms in it. It fit no problems and they're working fine. So, um, but I'm going to do it piece by piece and then, then I'm going to put that Predator 212 I have in it. It's stage 3. The only thing I don't have on it is a billet side cover and a cam. But I got everything else including uh, the 1.3 to 1 rocker arms in there and I'll do it sooner or later to cam and decide uh, the uh, Bullet side cover. But I ain't in no hurry. It makes lots of power as it is. Um, so I'm s no arms. I gotta quit doing that. My wife, dri she drives her nuts just with the arms. Cause my brain thinks so fast that my m mouth can't catch up. But anyways, that's everything that I'm gonna do to it. In the coming video, I have a speed run, but. The camera was not dialed in the GoPro, so I, at the end I'll show you a shot of the phone I have with the max speed, and then I'll show you, talk about what I did to it, and then I'll show you a shot of the new max speed. Remember, it's already been done. So this is the intro that shouldn't have been deleted, but somehow between uh, college and everything else, I, I got deleted. You know, I, don't, I only got so much, I only got a terabyte of storage for everything, including school. So anyways, like I said, sooner or later, I'm just going to whack that engine off and put on that 212 Predator Stage 3. But I heard that the rims can't handle it because it'll do it a, but I got a Harley rim in the background that I may just put on there. I'm not sure. But here, watch the rest of the videos that I already recorded and hope you enjoy. I don't ask you no more to like, subscribe, or whatever. If you like it, you can. If you don't, cool. But your help would be appreciated. I just want to know that I make these videos that people people are watching instead of just my family, which I'm grateful, but I'm trying to help people out, see what kind of mile per hour you can get with the extra tooth, or maybe I'll do the 26 tooth again after 26 rear tooth, rear gear, rear sprocket for a wheel after I do the carb and the exhaust. That might be an option. Alright, well, here's the rest of the videos. Enjoy.
Jack 32, going uphill at Wisconsin 30, then we leveled off as 32, then going downhill, it was 33 max. Right, for some reason, engine and everything is loosening, so it's getting me more speed than usual. Um, but today, what I'm gonna do, might not be with the same clothes, and I'm sweaty, it's hot as hell here. I hate Illinois, but gotta live somewhere. So, but uh, I'm gonna take off the loving tooth centrifugal clutch and put on the 12 tooth and see how many miles per hour I can get out of it. See if it's, I know it probably won't be, it might be just a little quicker acceleration because it'll be a higher dri drive pulley or drive gear than uh, driven because if you lower the driven gear you get slower takeoff but I'm actually increasing the drive so should be a little bit quicker response 